We get another dose. Only this <laughs> yeah. time, so losers th finals. And this is a run back. Quid took him <laughs> into losers bracket in the first place. So let's see. Leon has had a lot more time to warm up. But Bowser being a big, beefy boy, these Squirtle combos are going to be uh, just messed up. Look at that. 66% off of a single interaction. Yeah, no, this is cool. This is cool. Nothing wrong here. Uh, Nothing to see here, oh, folks. It's still going. Okay. It's still going. Okay. Yeah, no, just a casual 109 to start the, the match off. Do you see a problem? For Quid, I don't see any problems at all. Well, actually, I kind of see a problem, which is that Leon, at 145%, got his first opening. And one, listen, it doesn't matter. <laughs> what a reversal. Oh, uh, no, what are you doing? It don't matter. None of this matters. The reversals with Ivy are too big. All right, jumping from the ledge is too bad of a call. Charizard don't got hops like that, just like that. Even game salty. How are you feeling? How am I feeling? You having a good time? I'm what? having a grand old time! Let's get another loop of the stock just like that. Another 67 this time. Yeah, I guess one more hit from downer connected. Something along those lines and oh, buffering the neutral air means that he's trapped at the ledge, giving Quid all the time he needs. This is this is the situation where, remember, Quid was doing so good. He was doing great. Ah, uh, okay. Ooh. He was doing great. And then um and then Leon. Yeah, Leon happened. <laughs> Leon just started to turn up. He cannot be too comfortable. That's not the sweet spot of that up B. And Leon's still alive. What has got to find a way to more reliably end up the stocks? He's racking up the damage beautifully. And that's the call outs we need. This is the kind of lead that Quid needs. And you notice how sneaky that was. He knew he needed to be Squirtle at these lower percents. And up, 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 up. He got there just through the perfect switch, and this is what we've seen so many times. That's just going to be another 64% this time. Okay, why? How I, like, that I like the integration of the of the uh, pummels there. Oh, yeah, simple reaction. reaction. I will say, though, you know, if you get hit by Bowser up B, you're not dying. No, but you are taking damage that's leading to the next ledge interaction being potentially that's fatal. That's the second time. I, he's like snapped to ledge and instantly died. I think he's like hitting down way too early. Like and people are catching on to that. That's like Leon watched his set versus uh versus Tilde and was like, oh, huh. So you like to get off the ledge a little bit and soon, don't you? Oh. Whoa. That back air fi not finding its mark. Parries after parries, but we're pushing off stage. Down tilt gets the two frame. Oh, but committing to forward smash gives Leon just I, enough room to return to stage. At the same time, I do like that forward smash because he's specific. Oh, okay. you're a catch. Yep. Quid takes game one. Yeah, I do actually like that forward smash because you notice the only way that possibly he would be able to avoid it was to go on stage behind him, at which point he would just release it a little bit early and he still got that back air, kept the pressure up. So I definitely, I, I do agree with it. And... Here we are. Goes with a lead jump. You see the beginning of that's a Koopa Claw? I think if we could go back about that 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 help with you. He looked like he pressed some button. I couldn't yeah. tell you from the starting frames. All right. Regardless, game two bringing us to small battlefield. I think this is a better call because now Leon has just a little bit less space that he's going to get carried around by Squirtle from. That's an option we have not seen yet. Going, jumping off from the ledge in order to go for that uh, that Koopa Claw. It's a really good option. At the same time, very risky. If Quinn reads that, he can then knock him off off stage without a jump. And if you're Ivy, if he manages to get Ivy so out in time. Trapping the is working really well for Leon. And he finds the mark with down B. Again, he let go of ledge so quickly. He's not, I feel like he had more time to just sort of wait and see, but he's just so eager to get off the ledge. And now the opponents are taking advantage of that. Uh, a little early on the water gun, but super high recovery from Leon. Not punished out effectively. Very interesting adaptation for Leon. Now he's kind of playing the runaway game, but running away from this Ivysaur, a difficult task, but he manages it. Ooh. Oh, this pressure, finding the forward air in between the, uh, that, the, all of those up airs. Leon definitely has his spacing down pat. And now, again with the Koopa Claw extending because of the fact he forward tilted. That should be it, though. Up yeah, no, off platform. the platform. Yeah, off the platform. Yes, sir. Even stocks, but... 
That's 78%, and because of Quint's willingness to start things off on Squirtle, because of how reliable that early damage is, he's gonna die early! Yeah, it's like this risk, and that's why, if you think about it, the damage that he puts on is so important. A lot of times, you know, oh, well, how much percent, you know, is 30%, 40% extra credit? But the thing is, because Quid wants to be Squirtle at those lower percents, once, you know, Leon comes in for the respawn, he threatens the KO immediately. It's such a difficult call to make in this matchup, because there it really is no struggle for Bowser to find that mark. Like, whether it's a hit confirm from Mary to something so else no over there, like, Bowser can kill very easily. That oh. guard was so good! And you notice the way he was resetting, the way he was hitting him, made sure he could have gone for up air for more damage. No, he went for neutral air to keep him off stage. And now he's Squirtle again. He might get some nice hot, hot combos, but he's already at 69, meaning he is at kill percent here. Just one more down there. I like this ledge play. Just try to get the damage while you can, but you gotta be careful. Squirtle just a bit too light for these high tension situations. Not falling for the same trick this time. Downbeat does not find its mark, and now Quid on the hunt to alleviate some of this percentage deficit. Oh, <laughs> barely miss spacing for both players. And also, the, because the higher percents, I know that sometimes Bowser can armor through Ivysaur neutral air the first few hits. I think it might be percent. Yo! Up throw! Catches! A really? Up air! Just like that! Because of small battlefield! Because he grabbed him on the platform! What a... The punish game, the awareness, knowing exactly the move he needed to do in order to put himself back in grands, where he can now get the rematch against Tilda. Oh, that call so with the good. forward smash was so raw! Okay, was that true? Maybe, uh, maybe our expert... It is. Thank you. So, Devin maybe, 3000, it was, local maybe there was player, a little bit of a problem lover of taking him dogs. to small battlefield. It was, when we look at the bands, regular battlefields and Yoshi's story were taken away. It was very evident that Leon wanted these plats available to him. But the, like, town and city plats are, are too unreliable. There just wasn't enough variety for him to re reliably take a space where you could see it being a good tussle because you could take it to a small stage we can go to lila we can go to smashville and then all of a sudden these squirtle combos mean a lot more a lot more opportunity to reset a lot more damage that can be gathered and then much easier for either ivysaur or charizard to find those kills yeah 